Well, I was hoping that test groove would be three-eighths of an inch deep, but it's uh, 0.365. I'm about uh, 10 thousandths off. Actually, I'm exactly 10 thousandths off. And that's a pretty fine adjustment for the coarse teeth on this table support post. What you need to make an adjustment like that is a fine adjuster, like this uh, adjustable stop collar. It has threads so that one turn of the nut raises or lowers the table one sixteenth of an inch. You turn it one half a turn, you can raise or lower the table one thirty second of an inch. One quarter of the turn, one sixty fourth. Of course, how do you translate that to thousands? Well, if you know a little math and understand the equation circumference equals pi times diameter, you can make an indicator tape. Or you can simply go to the Shopsmith National Woodworking Academy website and download this neat PDF where we have not one, but two indicator tapes. The top indicator tape is in thousands, and the bottom indicator tape is in one 128th. Just cut them out, spray the backs of them with a little adhesive, and then wrap them around the nut. One tape on the top part, one tape on the bottom part, like this. To use it, just simply raise the table so the nut is off the carriage. I'm going to use the top tape since I have to uh, measure in thousandths. I'll choose a line on the bottom uh, as an indicator mark. I'll use this line right here, and I'll turn that... That's five thousandths, and that's ten thousandths. Then, blow away the sawdust. You want that nut to contact metal on the carriage. And then let's see what, how we did. Point three seven four, good enough for government work. This tip was brought to you by the Shopsmith National Woodworking Academy and Shopsmith's new virtual woodworking academy, Hands Online. Thanks. <laughs>